Hello everyone, welcome to NAV State YouTube channel. My name is Mohamed Atif, uh, NAV Real Estate Legal Advisor, and today is our first episode at the Legal Tips series. In that series, we'll try to discuss most of the viral and relevant questions that are so important to all the real estate investors here in the Emirates, especially Dubai, to know and to try to answer all of these questions uh, very deeply and to answer all your questions and queries. So please don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to get all the updates and also to drop all your questions and we'll be so happy to answer all of your questions anytime. So let's start our first episode and we'll try to discuss the five or six most relevant and viral questions which all the investors want to get the answers about. So we can start from scratch that the first question that we are most like you can say most common question that we are getting from the investors and our clients that clients who are want to start their investment here in Dubai so the first question is are there any restrictions on the type of the property foreigners can buy in Dubai actually yes there are some restrictions on the type of property that the investors can buy in here in Dubai the investors or the foreigners can purchase only in the designated areas which known as the freehold zones these freehold zones were established by Dubai government to encourage the investment of the real estate investors and to encourage them to purchase the properties here in Dubai. And you should know before start or before signing the SPA with the developer or whoever you will gonna sign, secondary market or off plan, you may have to make sure that you are purchasing in the freehold area, which foreigners can buy, sell, lease and own the property along with the land as well forever. There are other type of ownership called the leasehold. Actually, the leasehold is so different from the freehold one because in the leasehold, you can only own the building, but not the land. And this lease is up to 99 years maximum, not more. And after that time lapse, the property will be hand over again to the landlord. So you have to make sure that you are buying in a freehold area, not a leasehold one. It's better for you, for your family, for the future. So this one of the most common questions. So let's go to the second one. If the can foreign investors obtain residency through property ownership in Dubai? Yes, the foreign investors can obtain residency in Dubai through property ownership. UAE government has introduced several visa schemes that allowing the investors to obtain the residency here in Dubai. So we have different categories in that. Uh, section like we have the golden visa which is 10 years visa we have the five-year property investor visa and the two year and each of them has its own requirements that you have to fulfill all these requirements in order to get the visa for 10 years five years two years we have to fulfill the requirements and please if you want to know more in details about these schemes or in these categories please don't hesitate to drop your question and we'll be glad to answer and provide you with all the requirements and also help you to if you want to obtain that visa. Third thing and one of the most questions as well that many investors are there are you can say common legal pitfalls that many investors are falling with while they are purchasing a property here in Dubai. So what are the most common pitfalls that the investors are uh, going through here in Dubai while purchasing a property like not using a registered real estate agent You have to make sure that you are dealing with the registered real estate agent to avoid any complications in the future Also failure to conduct the due diligence It's very important to know everything and conduct the very careful due diligence and to make sure that everything is fine to avoid any complications and also Try not to ignore the sales and purchase agreement, the SPA, and to check everything in details so you are also avoiding any misunderstanding in the future, which 100% will impact the situation later on. Also, one of the pitfalls like not verifying the property title deed, or you can say not checking the project details like the project number, the developer ownership of the land, you have to check the escrow account and all the things that related to the, that transaction. And don't forget the legal representation if you want to understand anything related to the SPA, which mentioned between the lines. Everything it's, which is unclear for, to you, you have to check with the lawyer and make sure that you understand everything to avoid any complication in the future. One question says that, how does Dubai property law protect foreign buyers? Actually, Dubai, is trying the best to protect all the investors who are going to purchase properties here in Dubai. 
Like they provided them with the designated areas to own the property, the freehold properties, so they can have a stable, peaceful life and everything is going to be okay with them. Also, they created the escrow account laws. The escrow account laws is monitored and governed by the government, which makes sure that every uh, installment or all the money that you are paying to purchase an off-plan property is being paid to the escrow account under the supervision of the government, so it's not in the private bank account of the, of the developer. And also that's kind of protection for the uh, investors to protect their money. Also in the off-plan projects, there, are, uh, there is one kind of contract called Okud. Okud is kind of pre-title deed. That pre-title deed is given to the investors before receiving the final title deed because the final title deed you are getting up, uh, after the completion or the hand of the project and the full payment of the purchase price or the uh, property price that you are purchased from the developer. So that talk would also secure you and kind of ownership deed that proving that you own that property but you didn't receive it yet because the completion is not done yet and maybe also there are post payment plan that you will pay money in the according to the payment plan but after the handover of the project which kind of the facilities that the developers are giving to the investors to encourage them to invest here in Dubai or in the Emirates in general also we have some legal consideration for buying off plan properties here in Dubai we are always advising that you buy with very high developers, or you can say the master developers, or the registered with high reputation and good profile. These developers are always, we trust these developers and trying always to advise the people or the investors that they invest with these developers because these developers are so trusted here in the market from long ago. And also you have to check the escrow account and to make sure of the project number and the ownership of the land and everything is going on a good way. You have to check the SPA. You have to check all the details and everything in the SPA and try to read between the lines and ask your lawyer to, and to explain and tell you everything in the SPA to avoid any problems or any misunderstanding which affect the transaction later on in the future and to make sure of the, that you understand that survival clauses, like the completion, the handover date, and everything like that. And last thing to check in the SPA, the payment plan and milestone. You have to consider that the payment plan for the off-plan properties are typically linked to construction milestones. So you have to verify the payment schedule and ensure that it aligns the construction progress and avoid paying sums upfront without corresponding progress. So which, what, what I'm trying to tell you in that point that in the off-plan properties, there is a payment plan, this payment plan supposed to, maybe it ends after the handover, before the handover, it depends from a developer to another. So in general, the payment plan is linked to the milestone and the construction. So for each construction phase or stage or percentage, there is an installment you should pay. So you have to make sure that there is a progress and the developer deserves that amount or that installment on time because he constructed the, that percentage or he reached that percentage in the construction. So you have to make sure that to verify the payment plan and to also keep an eye on the construction and check everything through the uh, Dubai Land Department website and from Dubai REST app to check with the project number and all the information. Let's say there is a dispute takes place over an, a property here in Dubai. What to do? We are always advised to start with the amicable solution. Try to go through mediation or uh, negotiation with the developer. Try to be on a table with him and try to settle it down with him amicably without fight, without going to court. Try your best to solve it on the table without any extra problems but if you fail to reach the point in the negotiation so you can take your next step by filing complaint at TRERA which is the real estate regulation authority here in Dubai so you can start filing complaint and check with TRERA what you can do they can advise you and instruct you what to do exactly to protect your rights also if you didn't solve the problem in that stage then you have to check the competent court in the SPA and then get your uh, lawyer advice and start filing case and proceed in the legal way. Some people have, or some investors have, 
some doubts. What if the developer delay in the handover of the project? If the developer delay in the handover of the project, he exceeded the timeline mentioned in the SPA. So you have to check first the construction percentage through the Dubai REST app or Dubai Land Department website. And after then, if you found that he's so far away from the construction or from the completion date and 100%, he will, the developer will pass that time or already he passed the time of the handover, then you can file complaint at RERA and then take your legal action through the courts. And also some of the master developers or the big developers to avoid the problems and not to affect their reputation or sometimes they are offering the buyers some offers like the termination and refunding their money. And that's one of the good options that the developers are trying to solve the problems with the investors by terminating the contract amicably and refunding the money within a timeline. So also this is one of the options. If you face that problem, try to reach a negotiation or a settlement point with the developer by the termination and refunding the money. How you can verify the title deed? If you are buying a secondary market property and you want to make sure that this title deed is correct and official, it's not fake, then you can visit Dubai Land Department website and check the icon of the verification of title deeds and write down the title deed number, each one's here, and then it will show everything and uh, all the details that you, that you have to know before making that transaction or before purchasing that property. Also, you can do the same from the Barest app or if you fail to do both, you can visit the service centers which are certified from the Dubai Land Department and request them for the title deed verification so you make sure that the transaction will be smooth and to ensure the protection and everything is going fine to avoid any troubles and any complications in the future. So now we answered most of the relevant and viral questions which we are getting on daily basis from our clients and I hope that you understand most of the or hope all the questions that we discussed now. Thank you for watching our first episode in the Legal Tips series and stay tuned for the second episode. We'll discuss with you the inheritance of the property here in Dubai and instruct you what to do in case if you want to draft a will or you want to register the will. We'll explain to you how to do that according to the Sharia law for Muslims or even for the non-Muslims law, how it could be and how to register everything and to make sure that all the heirs and beneficiaries will get their rights from your will and from your assets here in Dubai. So stay tuned and wait for the coming episode. See you soon. Thank you.